what works for one family might yeah. not work for another family. And you have to kind of play to your strengths. Like I am, my whole family knows I am dead to the world, worthless after dinner. I mean, I don't, I, I, I don't know what happens. I'll go into food coma. Like I just don't function okay. anymore. It's like my body has been triggered to just shut down. I cannot do anything after dinner time. But Brian is totally a night person, and so, and even if he's tired, he's capable of staying up to tuck the kids in and to do a nightly devotional and things like that. I just can't. And so the nightly devotionals, Brian will go do that, and I will go to bed because I'm just wiped. I can't do it. And so that time of day works well for Brian to do some kind of devotional with them. Like I said, with the Bible study, it, you know, we set a 30 minute time limit because there have been times where, you know, because we both love the Bible and we love to talk about these things. Like it's just gotten too long for them during Bible study where we'll be, you know, talking talking about stuff. And then, you know, we are lighting up and the kids are slowly dying inside because we're taking way too long. Right. So after a while we realized, okay, they don't know what to expect. And then they start fighting with us. And so we set the time limit. And so that worked for us. Um, you know, another example is church on Sunday morning. Right now we're all mm -hmm. watching online church, right? Well, I know in your family, you, you have musicians and people who can sing well, and that's a wonderful thing. The cranes don't sing. We, <laughs> we can't sing and we don't necessarily enjoy singing. I'm just being honest. So for yeah. us to sit and watch the whole worship part of the service on Sunday morning, it's just not going to happen. The kids are done by the end of the last hallelujah. So for <laughs> us, we will watch one song and then we can go on from there. We've also kind of adapted where one week we're going to watch church online. The next week we just do our fa family Bible study. So it, you have to be flexible. I think that, you know, you have to play to your strengths, both as the adults and, you know, times of day and what works for your kids. But the important thing is that your kids know you're not giving up. It's not like if they fight you enough, then you're not going to do something. And, you know, just have the conversation. We've had this conversation. Look, right now, at this point in time, you might not be super excited about studying the Bible. I understand that. But as a Christian family, we put God first. This is extremely important. This is learning about God is the number one thing you need to be doing in life. And so we're going to do this. Now, we value your input into how that's going to happen because that can happen in a lot of different ways. And we want to hear what works best for you so we can do that. But we're going to worship. We're going to study. And, and I think that having them kind of come alongside you in that at least gives them an opportunity to feel like they're kind of part of the process. And when they're little, obviously, it's just the parents doing it. But as they get older in these tweens and, and teens years, that becomes a lot more difficult for you to just say, this is what we're doing. So working together can help a lot. Yeah, that's good, Natasha, because I picture you, you know, uh, and probably a lot of other people are thinking, you know, Natasha goes to bed at night and, uh, you know, she does her evening levitations. And <laughs> as you levitate and the spirit of God just kind of hovers over you, my sister. Right, uh. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. I am such a grumpy bear at night. I mean, it's just horrible. I'm the worst. <laughs> yeah, no. Hey, but that's good. I mean, because. A lot of discipleship, that was one of the things that I think set me up to feel frustrated is uh, there wasn't a lot of customization. And it was kind of like this, everybody should love singing equally and everybody should love memorizing scripture equally and everybody should have their family devos like this. And boy, I would like, you know, try to like get up early in the morning and get on my knees and start praying. And I'd be like, man, I, I, I hate to say it, but I feel like I do better with Jesus if I'm, if I'm able to say, Lord, I'll be with you in a moment. Let me have a cup of coffee first. Okay. Amen. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> let me, let me have a cup of coffee. I'll do better. Cause otherwise I'm going to fall asleep on you. Um, and it, things just look different and giving ourselves permission to realize, look, we're all wildly different and that's okay.